Who's in here? What kind of weirdo has been living in this tent? A zombie head? Eggplants? Scott sucks. Scott loves slap rounds. Scott loves eggplant. Kentucky Ballistics can't shoot. What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range and today we're going to have some more fun with the 700 Nitro Express and some zombie heads. I'm super excited about today's video. Let's go get set up and get started. So recently I was in Texas and I filmed with Matt and we shot some zombie heads. I really wanted to see what would happen when we shot those same zombie heads with my elephant guns. So I stole the rest of Matt's zombie heads and brought them home with me to Kentucky. Hashtag don't tell Matt. These particular zombie heads have green skin, zombified bones, and have blue blood inside them. So I have nine zombie heads today. I'm gonna shoot each zombie head with a different elephant gun and we're gonna build up to the 700 Nitro Express. But real quick, I wanna say thank you to SDI for sponsoring today's video. If you've ever been interested in a career in the firearms industry, you need to check out Sonoran Desert Institute. They have lots of online classes, so it's super easy for you. Be sure and check them out. There's a link in the description down below. So we're gonna start out with the smallest elephant rifle I brought out here today, which is hilarious because this isn't small, but this is a CZ 550 chambered in 375 H&H Magnum. This is a 350 grain Barnes TSX. This is not playing around. Really curious to see what it does to the zombie head. But before I do, I have a big announcement. My two and a half million subscriber giveaway is going on. You need to go check that out. There's a link in the description down below. And I'm about to start doing a fan feature in every video. I'm gonna start shooting your stuff. I'm gonna have a P.O. box in the description down below. Send your stuff to that address and every video be watching because I might be shooting your stuff. All right, here we go. First one. This is gonna be really messy. Oh my gosh! That was pretty eventful. Um, <laughs> the 375 is a very big round, but it's one of the faster ones that I brought out here today. And it did quite a bit of damage to the uh, zombie head. There's not really anything left. All right, well, I'm gonna set up another zombie head and grab another elephant gun. Up next is an elephant gun that I have not shot on this channel yet and you've been requesting for a long time. This is another CZ550, but this one is chambered in 416 Rigby. That's a 400 grain Barnes TSX. All right, here we go. was a little more energetic than the 375. Okay, I believe this is the uh, one that we just shot. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty gross. I really don't want to touch this. Gross. Ew. So judging from this, I would say that the 416 Rigby is more effective at taking out zombies than the 375 H&H. There's a lot less here than there is here. So now it's time to step it up again. Yet another CZ 550 bolt action rifle, but this one is chambered in 458 lot. That is a 500 grain DGX. All right, here we go. Oh! oh. I mean, I'm starting to realize, I don't think it matters what elephant rifle you have, 
they're all pretty effective at taking out zombies. All right, so our other zombie heads are over there. So we know that this is the new one. And uh, well, I didn't think that we could do much better, but uh, I think that we did a little better. On to the next one. So up next, we're gonna step it up to the 460 Weatherby Magnum, and we're gonna be loaded up with a 500 grain Barnes TSX. This is probably going to be pretty spectacular. Here we go. Wow, okay, well, there's not a whole lot to inspect after that one. Yeah, um, I'm not even going to pick that up. You can see here, um, there's not a lot left. 460 Weatherby Magnum, very effective on zombies. So this next rifle is the last bolt action rifle that I brought out here today. This is a 500 Jeffrey, and I'm gonna be loaded up with a 500 Jeffrey, 540 grain brass solid. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, let's check that out. So that was a brass solid. So not a lot of expansion, but we still, um, well, we split it in half. <laughs> 500 Jeffrey, not too bad on zombies, but I think we could do better. So now it's time to move on to my favorite elephant guns, the double barrel elephant guns. This one is chambered in 470 Nitro Express, and that is a 500 grain soft nose. When we filmed the zombie torso video, the 470 Nitro Express finished it off. So I'm really curious to see what it does to this head. This is gonna be bad. On my gun there just a tad say the 470 did the trick so it looks like the bullet hit right here and I can actually feel it in there <laughs> there it is that's nuts starting to make a little bit of a mess oh so now it's time to move on to the big boys. I have a double barrel 500 Nitro Express, and this one is absolutely beautiful. So you've got a Cape Buffalo, an elephant, a lion, and I'm still not really sure what this thing is. I'm just calling it a chupacabra. And I'll be loaded up with a 500 Nitro Express, a 570 grain Swift A-frame. Here we go. All right. Oh! It's raining zombie goop. Got a little bit on the rifle again. Oh, darn it. Well, um, uh, let's check that out, I guess. Uh, here's some of it, and the rest is somewhere in the trees. So before the 700 Nitro Express came along, this was the biggest elephant gun that you could get. This is a double barrel 600 Nitro Express, and it shoots this behemoth of a round. That is a 900 grain 60 caliber soft point. This is about to be really bad. Uh, all right. Oh, here we go. <laughs> 
600 Nitro Express seems to be pretty darn effective when taking out zombies. All right, now for the moment you've all been waiting for, the 700 Nitro Express double barrel elephant gun, and it shoots this gigantic round. This is the 700 Nitro Express 1000 grain full metal jacket. And for this last shot, we're going to go extra point blank. Oh dear, here we go. <laughs> Golly! Okay, well, uh, definitely got some zombie goop on the 700 Nitro. All right, here's where the bullet hit. There's a pretty big hole down here. I'm gonna see if we can find it. Let's stick this rod in here first. It should be right there. There it is, oh my gosh. There it is. <laughs> gosh. I cannot believe we found that. This table is covered in zombie blood and we can't be having zombie table. Make sure you buckle up for safety. My whole silver away! All right, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a ton of fun. What else would you like to see me do with these zombie torsos and the zombie heads? Let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget, I'm gonna be doing a fan featured target. Send your stuff to the PO box in the description down below. And while you're down there, sign up for the 2.5 million subscriber giveaway. There's also a link to that in the description down below. If you enjoyed today's video as much as I did, do me a big favor and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistics Shorts, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below. Along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.